facial scan. It looks really fascinating. No, no, I'm not talking about the technology behind the facial scan. I'm just talking about the visual effects behind it. You have seen several times different different types of scanning effect in your sci-fi movies. And I think this is one of the great example of VFX. So why not try this? Of course. And that's exactly what I'm going to create in today's video. Basically here I will drag one human face and apply motion tracking. After that I will go to the grid system and apply lighting and electricity effect. And finally after making some color tweaks you will have this nice facial scan effect. So if you want to know the complete breakdown behind to make this kind of scanning effect then stick with me till the end of this video which brings up our today's video title how to make a facial scan effect using HitFilm Express. So as I said before first you drag your human face to the composite shot and apply motion tracking. You place your tracking point at eye and here I will add one point layer and let's rename it as a facial tracker. Basically this point will act as a tracking point. Now you can start tracking and as you can see my tracking is going on. Select your point layer and hit apply. And finally you can see my point is properly tracking the eye. So up to here it's all about the motion tracking and nothing else. And now the real work will begin. So in facial scanning you have probably noticed that there are so many lines which basically represents the scanning portion area. You can create those lines by yourself or you can use some stock assets as well. But here in this video I'm going to use the HitFilm grid system which I already used in my previous video where I talk about the animated dotted line effect. You can watch that video on the i button. Anyways first you make one grid layer say name it as a facial grid. Then you go to the search and type grid and apply it in the grid layer. You change the blending mode to screen so that you can see the background footage. You can see here my grid system is quite large so we have to make it thin and light and for that you just play with the position parameter and border radius. And look you have this nice thin lines. And here I will set my color green. Here you can see my grid system is spread out throughout the whole video frame. But we want only in the facial portion. So your next step is you have to draw the mask around the face. Select your grid layer and start freehand masking. Make some feather. At the beginning of the video I used the motion tracking. So now you have to make your grid system parent to the point layer. Plus in the grid system you have to change the layer of position to the point layer for both point 1 and point 2. By doing this my entire grid system will move according to the movement of the face. So up to here it's all set now. Now the real fun part will begin. I'm going to use the light beam throughout the face. Let's create another grid layer and name it as a scanning light. And here I'm going to use the lighting and electricity effect on this grid layer. You go to the properties and remove all the branches and make it straight. Well I already made a nice example of lighting and electricity effect where I explain about the parameters in details. You can watch the video on the i button. It's recommended if you want. So first you place it vertically here. As you know my scanning light should move from left to right and right to left. So you have to play with the keyframes now. You can see in the properties there is two point, starting point and ending point. And it's time to use the power of keyframes. So do it. Remember you have to use both starting point and ending point together otherwise one portion of your line will be tilted. So use both and you can see my line is moving from left to right properly. Now it should again come back from right to left. So use the same keyframes but in a reverse direction. Basically it's all about the game of starting point and ending point. So we have almost covered half of the work. But still few things are missing. I mean look at this now. If you play this the scanning effect is not fully satisfactory. We need to add some spice up here. And that's why I'm going to create one new plane layer. And let's rename it as a glow effect. And here I'll apply fill color and set my color green. 
By the way, you can use any color, there is no hard and fast rule. Change your blending mode to multiply and you can see this nice glow effect around the face. And one more thing, I should also change the color of the beam to green so that it can match with the glow effect. Here you should consider one thing. My glow effect will only appear when my light beam comes close to the face and for that I have to play with the opacity. So at the middle portion my opacity is 100 so I activate the keyframe here and a few frames back I will reduce my opacity to 0 and you can see this nice glowing effect. In the same way when my light beam will cross the face my glow effect should again reduce. So you simply copy the 0 keyframe opacity and paste it here. So here I will do one more interesting thing. I don't want to stick with one specific color. Basically I want to switch the color every time whenever my light beam crosses the face. And for that you have to play with the glow effect using the keyframes. So that each time my color changes. You can see here my color is being changed every time. You can pick any random color whatever you like. Similarly you should also change the color of the beam accordingly. And so finally after doing all the manipulation all the tweaks you are having this nice facial scan effect. So this is just one variation. You can play with many other variations. Something like instead of making straight line you can make some zigzag line. You can make animation from top to bottom whatever you want. Let me know in the comments and ask me any questions regarding this video. Smash the like button, leave your comments and share it. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Before going to leave, I recommend you to watch my video where I explain about the lighting and electricity effect. It will really help you to understand the each and every parameters. And I will see you in the next video.